Hi, I'm Russell Eyrig, and today we are going to make a blind contour drawing. Now, I know that drawing makes a lot of people nervous because they feel like they have to be perfect, but that's what makes a blind contour drawing so fun is you never have to be perfect. It can't be perfect. It's always going to be a little off. Now, the contour part of the word means we're only gonna draw where we can see an edge. And the blind part of the word is because we're not going to look at our drawing as we make it. You're just gonna keep your eyes straight ahead on your subject and not look down at your paper. I know, that's the hard part, but it's also what makes it so fun because everything is going to look pretty crazy. But that's okay, because you have an excuse. You weren't looking at your page. So you only really need two things, something to draw on and something to draw with. Now, blind contour drawings look really nice when the lines are very clear, so consider using a nice pen or marker if you have something like that. Now, you're also going to need something to draw. I think faces are probably the most fun, so that's what we're going to focus on. You could draw somebody sitting in front of you, you could draw yourself in the mirror, or you could draw from a photograph. For my drawing, I'm going to use this photo of my mom. There's basically two rules to making a blind contour drawing. One, do not look at your page. Seriously, no peeking. And two, do not lift your pencil. It needs to be one unbroken line from start to finish. Now, I know this makes it sound really hard, but actually this will help you keep track of where you are on the page since you can't look at it. So to begin, Pick a point on the person's face and then imagine that your pencil or pen is actually touching that point on the person's face. Now as you're drawing, you're going to imagine that your pen or pencil is actually tracing every little contour that you want to draw. You're going to actually pretend that you're following along with your pencil as you look at their face. Again, you're not going to look at your paper. Just look at the person's face. And because you can't lift your pencil, you're gonna have to make some lines that you normally wouldn't, but that's okay. Just try to think about how those lines might follow the shape of the person's face. So your drawings are gonna look pretty crazy, but are there any ways that they actually sort of look like the person? Are there any ways that they don't look like the person? Blind contour drawings are a great way to improve your perception skills. One of the hardest things about drawing is getting your eyes and your hands to sort of work together. A lot of times your brain gets in the way and says, no, no, that's not supposed to look this way. But this activity will let you get used to having your hands work directly with your eyes while putting your brain to rest. Now, it's also fun to make multiple blind contours from the same subject. Here's some others that I made using the same photo. Try starting at different points on the faces and see how they change. If you like your drawing as just a line, you can leave it just that. Or you could always go back in and add more color or details. If you used a nice black line, it's easy to go back in with crayons or colored pencils and still see that strong line coming through. So I hope you'll take a few moments today and actually make a blind contour drawing. And I also hope that you'll share them with us. If you're not a part of our Cam Connect Facebook group, now is a great time to join. And you can also share your drawings with us by posting them in the comment section of this video. Thanks, and I can't wait to see your drawings. Thank you.